Yo, what, what, what up? It's Razor Pop Lab. What's up, guys? My name is Silver Razor TV. You're here on Razor Pop, and today we have a special guest with me, Instra. Hello. Hi, right, welcome to the show, Inch. Um, what are we doing at La Salle? <laughs> People are wondering what are we doing at La Salle. Like, it's such a random thing to associate with you, but you're actually a student here, right? Yeah, I am actually. I'm studying arts management in La Salle, so I kind of wanted to invite you over to my place to shoot it, but it's in a mess right now. <laughs> I know, exactly. Your, 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 your solo album is called, solo EP is called The Bedroom. Yeah. So we wanted to go into the bedroom and, and check it out. Yeah, but, but it's, it's, it's out of hand right now. It's really, it's really chaotic, so no, forget what? it. But what's wrong with the bedroom? What's wrong with the bedroom? Why is it chaotic? Um, it's... I'm a really messy person. So it's especially chaotic, isn't especially it? Especially Sometimes you can't see the floor. Okay. <laughs> so how do you clean the floor then? I, I, you I don't. don't. <laughs> Okay. Maybe it's good because like, it, pet, it pets the room like, since, since you recorded it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tech, it kind of like, dampens everything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should do sound, sound engineering here instead. For people who don't know who Inshaw is, you're your front woman from Allura. Yeah. And right. uh, what, what, kind of, what kind of band is Allura? Allura is in, I guess we could call ourselves alternative rock. Very rock because uh, more on the hard side and edgy, I would say. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we've been around for about two years right now. But yeah, other than that, Alira is quite cool. I really like playing in the band, that's fun. A lot of people come up to me and like, Oh, I heard you left the band, you're the former singer of Alira. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm still singing for them. It's just um, kind of right now the guys are taking a small short break, going into hiatus because they're all going in NS and stuff oh, like that. Oh, no, NS. I know. It's, it's a horror thing, but oh well, it, it'll get over it. Uh, it won't be, it won't blow over. But right now, I'm just doing my solo stuff uh, to kill time because I'm just very bored. Okay, yeah. Um, so what? Alira is gonna get back when the guys get out of NS. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because oh. they're all going in one by one chronologically. Okay. So it's just gonna, if you stretch it out, it's gonna be about a good three, four years. So three, four years, you're you gonna dedicate it all to just solo? Maybe about two years. Uh. Okay. So when will we expect uh, an Alira album? Um. Definitely about within maybe three years from now, but be good because uh, the guys and I are still riding. We're not completely stagnant. Okay. We're still riding, and we're more than family than anything else. So we hang out all the time and go for barbecues yep. and stuff like that. So it's kind of fun. Like the album will be out in about three years time. Oh, three years time, long way. <laughs> but in the meantime, you can check out maybe. the bedroom. Yeah, it's your solo effort. Um, I read an interview somewhere that you said that you wanted to get a solo effort before you turned 21. How old are you right now? I'm 20, still before 21. So 21, you're going to be 21 next year? Uh, December, end of this year. Okay, and you got your solo, solo effort out, so yeah. you Phew. sort of... New Year resolution done. Kick. <laughs> But why, 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 why the need or the urge to like get it up before you're 21? I don't know, I just suddenly feel like I need to do it before I turn to an adult. Or like, you know, till I'm legit to vote. <laughs> but why, why the rush to, to become an adult? Or you still wanna... I don't wanna be an adult. <laughs> I don't wanna be an adult. So I'd rather do it all before I turn into one. How are your band members sort of taking your... Your solo effort? Um, no, they hate it. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, uh, awesome, no, <laughs> no they, they're actually really supportive. Like Aaron, the guitarist, he was the he recorded my first solo song for me, and then subsequently, uh, Mark, our other guitarist, wanted to play. And then um, everyone in the band always turns up for all my gigs, and mm -hmm. they're really, really, really excited. And they're very happy for me. Uh. You know how the band <laughs> dynamics are? There's always one guy who say, "Yeah, I'm okay with it," but he's like, mm. uh, "No, actually, I was, I was, I was, I was a bit scared that that might be that way from the start. Okay. Like, you know, oh shit, I'm going." solo. Can yeah. I say shit? Yeah, you sure. <laughs> but like, like, oh shit, like I want one of the guys are gonna like hate me because like I'm gonna do this all by myself and it's gonna be horrible. I'll be evil and then it'll be like that whole no doubt thing going on. Yeah, exactly, that's, that's, that's the reference I was, I was sort, of, sort of like uh, pinpointing to, yeah. like the whole no doubt thing. But you see, no doubt just got to, got back together. Yeah, it, it, it's it's really good because a band like no doubt, okay, no doubt, okay, let's, let's not debate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But like um, for Lyra, was I think we're a really good band together. There's a lot of chemistry. It's really hard to form a band like that when you have chemistry, the right kind of music, the right kind of friends. So it's perfect. And a band like Allure will definitely stay for the next few years till the day we die, maybe. And um, the thing is that we're, we're first and foremost friends before mm -hmm. all of this. And that they always knew that I kind of slightly wanted to do my solo stuff, but I never really had the courage. So all of them were actually more of like egging me on to do it rather than anything else. Okay, this is the hot question. Which do you prefer, being in a band or going solo? Ah, hot seat! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hot seat. I was about to say hot seat. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I say 50-50? Oh, 
if you had, okay, I'll rephrase the question. If you had to choose and you have to choose, okay. which do you prefer? You I'll can't say different good, different bad, you know? Like I'll a, stick with Valera. Really? I'll stick with Valera. Definitely. Okay. So it really depends on the artist itself, how much and what they want to do. And I guess um, for me, I just love being in a band more than being solo because solo is a bit like do or die, sink or swim kind of thing. Yep. But being in a band, it's more fun. You have everyone. You get, there's lots of input, and it's it's challenging but very much more rewarding when everything gets together. In the next clip, Inch tells us how serious she is about music and why she doesn't want to do Mando Pop. <laughs> 